Ladies and gentlemen, I thought I would never see the day where Rika Sun Avalon wins an event. So let's just dive on into this beautiful Bean Nationals, shall we? Destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain out of that like and subscribe button so we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, Rika Sun Avalon has just won the European 2022 Nationals. And I wanted to quickly talk to you about overall the event itself and some uh, spicy or lack thereof things that we saw. So starting off, Rika and Tier Elements were in the finals. Rika Sun Avalon just destroying two owing Tier Elements and it, it, I don't even know what Rika Sun Avalon does. I just know that watching that match, it was a slobber knocker. It was just plays after plays. Like the Rika deck is fucking disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. Being able to just summon monster after monster after monster. Like I, it, like I, I clicked it on and the dude had like six monsters on his board. And the tier element player was like shitting his pants. And I'm like, it's Rika. Like it's, I, I, I'm, it's safe to say that it's a tier one deck. Like I'm going to boldly say that. I don't know what the deck does. I'm going to learn what the fuck it does so that I'm prepared. Uh, but that deck is just nuts. Um, you know, having cards like Sunseed, Genius, Loki to help make Link Ones. Uh, the Rika Field spell is insane. Bangalitzer Lord has always been pretty good. Um, I don't know if he was playing the trap card that's like a skill drain for the Sun Avalon archetype, but. I mean, does it really matter? I mean, he just he popped off and, and went off. Like, it, it's a crazy-ass plant deck. That's all I'm going to say about it. Tier Elements doing its thing with that RNG. I think that it's going to be much better once we get the mill support out of Magnificent Mavens. I have said that before. Another big thing was that there was, I believe it was a sprite deck playing Psychic Life Transfer in the extra deck for time because you can banish a Psychic, gain 1,200. So if you're playing like Gamma, you can banish Gamma and then gain 1,200 life. Um, it's cute. It's like a five, six dollar card now. It's only had one printing like at a Crossroads of Chaos or something. So that was neat. Um, and then watching Alter Guys make it to the top four, losing to the tier elements that obviously just came in second place. And uh, Mystic Mind is one hell of a card. I mean, he he beat Sprite like solely because of that pretty much. Twice in a row against Sprite and tier elements, they tried to Feather Duster and he changed Solemn Judgment. It was just disgusting. Everybody in the chat, like it was literally like 50-50. Either people were saying, please ban Mystic Mind. Other people were saying, you need to have the out. If you're complaining about it, then you're a clown, which I've beaten that horse to death. Go watch my commenters don't understand Mystic Mind video that I posted a few days ago. I talked about how Mystic Mind is a toxic ass card and it needs to be taken out back and shot. It's a piece of shit fucking card. Like the fact that so many decks now are just so propped up by fucking Mystic Mind is just disgusting. It needs to go. Um, Rivalry of Warlords, of course, I saw the chat going insane on the stream saying, okay, now we need to ban Rivalry of Warlords. This is a second national championship now that was won thanks to Rivalry of Warlords. And we saw Rivalry of Warlords played in Sword Soul. It helped out the Sword Soul deck a lot. We see it being played in Sun Avalon. And I, I really don't think Rivalry is going to get hit. It's just, it's a really good ass floodgate for what it does. Um, you know, there's not much to really say there besides that. Um, but yeah, a lot of decks playing Mystic Mind, a lot of decks playing Rivalry of Warlords as my speaker goes off. Um, but I think overall, still seeing a diverse format though. You know, we saw Rika, we saw Sprite, we saw Tier, and then we see things like Alter Guys come out of the blue. So, you know, people saying it's a Tier 0 format with Sprite and Tier Elements, it's, it's really not. You know, and the fact that we have other decks that are able to compete is a very good thing. It's very healthy. Um, you know, obviously Super Poly is an amazing card. Dark Ruler is an amazing card. Everybody in the mama is playing that card. So I think that moving forward, number one, we've got YCS Brazil. Um, and we also have a ban list hopefully coming up by the end of this month, if not early in September. And uh, it it's just insane to see Sun Avalon win an event out of nowhere. So guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below about this information. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.